this guy, this guy's in the shuttle. Capt you know, temporary Captain Kirk tells this guy to go, and he goes. He doesn't talk back. He doesn't do anything. He just follows orders. Love it. Also gave me chills in theaters. I need you to go now. Do you hear me? We're waiting on you, sir. No, just go. Take off immediately. That's an order. Yes, sir. Difficult situation. He wants George Kirk to be there. That was what he was expecting. He does mm-hmm. one clarification question. And then he gets orders to go, and then he goes, done. No talk back, no nothing, no waiting. Mm-hmm. He's going. Mm-hmm. I mean, good operations. Good operations. I, as this guy, he's the pilot of the of the escape shuttle, mm-hmm. and he wants the temporary captain to be there. He's, I mean, of course, he wants to save his fellow, fellow crew member, but he gets an order yep. from a superior officer, and he's like, go. He's like, understood. Go. Go. Oof, yep. Tight, tight discipline. None, none of this, like, no, we're going to wait for you, and then, and then, and then George Kirk is on the bridge, like incapacitated. <laughs> like, right. Take your order, execute. In fact, you have to follow the orders because this is the pilot. He's focusing on the piloting of the shuttle. He doesn't have the overall battle picture like the people on the bridge do. So he has to follow their orders because he can't countermand it because he doesn't have the information to do it. Great work. Right. Excellent. Excellent work. 